Saloniko, as the Sephardic Jewish residents of the city called it, was once a city with a thriving Jewish population having taken refuge in the Ottoman Empire after the 1492 purge in Spain. According to the 1913 census, the Jewish community made up more than 60,000 out of 157,000 of the city's population. However, the measures of the Greek state after incorporating the city in its sovereign territory in 1912 followed a systematic crescendo of repression and marginalization. Neighborhoods were burned and rebuilt. Populations deemed incompatible with the new regime were displaced. The Hellenization of the bureaucracy made it difficult for the Ladino-speaking Jews to comply with its demands. French and Italian signs of Jewish shops were torn down. Sunday was decreed to be the rest day for all, in a city that used to pay dues to its Jewish cultural influence by closing down on Sabbath. In 1931, three Epsilon set fire and burnt to the ground the Campbell settlement in East Thessaloniki. The Jews of Thessaloniki, coming to terms with the impending dangers, began a slow exodus. However, their near annihilation came during the city's occupation by the Nazis, deporting and murdering more than 90% of its Jewish inhabitants in 1943. Hundreds of thousands of gravestones were used to reconstruct the building stock of the city. Some were taken by the Greek church to tinge the construction of new churches and renovation of the old, and by the city hall which used them as slabs and building materials among others. Today, there is a message to take by recalling this tragic past. <laughs> 